My history dates back to 78 at a time when you didn't really see it. And when you did see it, you'd be walking down the street and you wouldn't know what was happening. Nobody on the outside world knew what was happening in that park, in that lil, circle next to a lil, sandpit, next to a monkey bars. They had loud music, but they didn't know why people was standing in that circle. Well the masses didn't, but in that circle, there was people getting busy, there was people doing stuff on the concrete, to the beat of the music, acting like clowns, acting like stick-up kids, acting like machines, acting like, b-boys. It was about being the best. Better than the other dancers. Dancing to the beat, and making the crowd respond. But it was about playing with the crowd, doing crazy shit. The black kids were the ones that I learned from but you never learned by asking somebody. Back in the days, it was machoism, it was about that street attitude, that attribute like you ain't gonna sweat nobody. Who would you say is your main influence? There is no main influence. The main influence for me is the music. Okay now, as far as persons are concerned there are a whole number of people who influenced me. Some of the main ones were a kid named Grego, from the Executioners, a crew from East Harlem, there was a kid named Shaky, a Puerto Rican kid from Amsterdam Projects, 61st Street there was also the number one sure shot crew, with Kid Terrific, he's a Puerto Rican b-boy and they inspired me more, cause all I saw was brothers, but when I saw Puerto Ricans I felt more comfortable about breaking.